Hello guys, it's Unit 3, Part H. Third trimester. In the diagnosis of pregnancy, it is third trimester. Third trimester is from 29th week to 40 week. That is from 6th month to 9th month. This 3 month is third trimester. And it also considers subjective data and objective data. Or subjective sign and symptoms, objective sign and symptoms. In subjective, you can see amenuria, enlargement of abdomen, Edema on feet, fetal movement, lightening. You probably know all these symptoms except this lightening. Let me explain once again. Aminuria is nothing but the absence of menstruation. Enlargement of abdomen that is uterus keeping enlarged. Edema on the feet. This is also known as pressure symptom. The feet become swollen. This pressure symptom is because of lightening. Lightening is nothing but uh, the moving of fetus towards downwards, towards pelvic is known as lightening. That is, uh, throughout the period, that is throughout the nine months, the women will be carrying the baby. She will be carrying it and she will be bearing the weight of the baby. And that is, one week before the delivery, the fetus moves downwards towards the pelvic, towards the vaginal canal. That is known as lightening. Lightening in the sense, uh, mother doesn't feel the weight of the baby. The baby moves downwards. That is lightening. And because of it moving downwards around the ninth month, uh, the mother's feet is swollen. And that is nothing but pressure symptom. Next, fetal movement. Fetal movement can be commonly seen. Objective data. First, we have skin changes. Skin changes in the sense the colasma, that is pigmentation on the face, and a linea nigra, that is lining on the abdomen, and other uh, stretch marks. This all can be seen in the third trimester and then uterine shape uterine shape will be cylindrical in shape throughout the pregnancy and at the time of delivery it becomes spherical that shape of the uterus get changed okay change in fundus height yeah month after month the baby will be growing the uterus will be expanding and there will be change in the fundus fundus, fundus is nothing but the tip of the uterus is called as fundus and keeps on growing month of month and there is a change in the height well, in this also we can see three changes that is 32nd week, 36th week, 40 week. In these three weeks we can see the changes. On weeks goes on, the height of the fundus is also increasing week after week. Okay, but if you observe here, at the 32nd week, the fundus height is just below the rib cage. At the 36th week, it's at the rib cage. But at the 40th week, it's actually decreasing its fundus height. It's because 40 is the last week of the pregnancy. And this is the week where the delivery occurs. So this is the place where the lightening occurs. What is lightening? Lightening is nothing but engagement of the baby's head. That is, baby moves downwards towards the birth canal and the baby gets prepared for delivery process every month baby keeps on growing like this but at the time of delivery baby just moves one step downwards so this is why at the 40 week the height of the fundus is actually decreased Braxton's hex contraction is nothing but the irregular painless contraction and then USG it is performed for the estimation of the fetal movement. These are the tests that are performed in the hospital to confirm the pregnancy. Those are urinary immunological test, slide test, kit test, biological test, USG. Questions will be provided at the end of the chapter. Until then stay tuned. Meet you in the next video.